So you want to learn how to add flow to your videos. Well, the first thing we'll need to do is add markers onto our music track so we can go ahead and sync our video clips to it. You can add markers to your layer by clicking that star key on your number pad, or if you don't have that, you can go ahead and right click your layer and click add marker. So let's go ahead and hit LL on our keyboard to open up the waveforms. And inside of the waveforms, you're going to see different audio levels. And on the highest peaks of the audio is where you're going to want to place your markers. If it's hard to tell where the highest peaks are in your music, then you can just also go ahead and play back the song. And while you're playing it back, you just want to go ahead and hit that marker key on the different beats. Once you have your markers placed throughout your music, we can go ahead and start adding in our video clips. And by using our markers, it's going to make it a lot easier for us to know where those beats are in the song. So when I drag in my footage here, I'm just going to align it with those different markers. And now I have all of my different clips laid out throughout my timeline. And as you can see, they're all synced to the different markers. Next, we're going to go ahead and start adding some different speed ramps to our footage. This is a key part in making your video flow together. So let's go ahead and hit Control Alt T on our keyboard to bring up the timer mapping. If you don't already have any keyframes at the start or end of your footage, then you're going to need to add it yourself. So go over here to the left and click this keyframe button at either the start or end of your footage. Now that you have a keyframe placed at the start as well as at the end, we can go ahead and select them and click F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. If your keyboard doesn't allow you to do that, you can also just right click the keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Now your keyframes should look something like an hourglass symbol. With both of those keyframes selected, let's go into the graph editor. Now if your graph doesn't look quite like mine and it looks a bit different, then you just want to go ahead and right click on the graph area and then go ahead and select auto select graph type. So if you don't already understand the graph, you can go ahead and play around with this for a little bit to sort of understand it a bit better but basically what we're going to be doing is creating a similar pattern throughout all of our different clips now when you start moving these little arms on the end of the keyframe you can kind of see what it does to your graph Basically, a super simple way to describe how this graph works is the steeper the line, the faster the video, and the flatter the line, the slower the video. So as you can see here at the start of the video, it's going to be super quick. And then towards the middle, it's going to flatten out to be pretty slow. But then when it starts to reach the end, it's going to speed up again. And that's actually exactly what we're going for for this effect. So once you have a graph shape that looks something similar to mine, then you should be good to go. Another thing to consider while doing this effect is you want to make sure your videos are flowing in the same direction. And what I mean by that is basically your first clip should be moving in almost the same direction as your second one. So say if your first clip is zooming in and your second one is zooming out, it's not going to flow together that well. So what you'd want to do is have both those clips zooming in or either zooming out just so it flows together better. Also, a quick way to fix this is you can actually just reverse the layer. So once you reverse it, then it'll actually be zooming in. So now I have both those clips zooming in and it already looks a lot smoother. For this video clip right here, I actually want to have it rewind towards the middle. So what we're going to do is set a keyframe at the start and end as well as one in the middle. Once again, I'm going to easy ease those keyframes and go into the graph editor. Now on my last keyframe, I'm going to drag this one all way down so it matches my first one and that's going to create that reverse effect. Now all we have to do is adjust this graph so it looks similar to the previous ones we just did. Obviously this one's going to look a bit different because we have more keyframes but you should have something that looks a little bit like a wishbone. Another quick tip to help smooth out your videos is go over here to the frame blending and enable it by clicking this little box two times. So once you've done your speed ramping for all of your different clips we can go ahead and start adding some different effects. What I like to do is add a shake effect on the start of each of these different clips. So I'm just going to be using my shake preset pack for these shakes. If you want to download and use these shakes all of them linked down in the description below but you can also just go ahead and use any other shakes that you already have installed to use my shake presets is actually super simple all you have to do is create a new adjustment layer trim down the adjustment layer so the start is at the start of your clip you also want to go ahead and make sure you have motion blur enabled on that layer now with the playhead at the start of that adjustment layer we can go ahead and drag on any of these shake presets that we want to use and just by applying that shake it really helps make everything flow together so i went through the timeline and applied those shakes to all the different video clips i also overlaid some turbulent effects on top of my shake i also have a preset a pack for my turbulent presets so if you want to go ahead and download that i'll have a link down in the description below as well now the last thing to help everything flow together is adding sound effects honestly the main sound effect i use is just like a whoosh sound effect and it kind of just change the speed of it to sound a bit different i'll also throw in some different build-ups and risers but that's honestly about it you can go ahead and download the same ones i'm using here down in the description below and here's what my video sounds like with just those sound effects enabled And now enabling the music layer with the sound effects, here's what the finished video looks like. It's easy. I make the shit look easy. But it ain't that easy, believe me. But I got 